Hey, it's Nick from Atlas Collectibles, and I'm doing an M1 Cat, or sorry, uh, Azure Position seal, uh, Booster Draft. Uh, sorry for the late join here. I um, kind of got stuck with a bunch of errors, and I was trying to load up my OBS, and I hit the hotkey to start my draft a little bit earlier than I wanted to. Anyways, um, looking into here, uh, I'm in my third pick. Pick one's farm, it's a great removal spell, destroy target attacking or blocking creature. Um, Resolute Survivalist is just a fantastic uncommon. Uh, whenever you exert something, you get to essentially dra drain them for one. Uh, so it means I'm going into kind of a red white uh, deck. I, this is a bit early to take this, I was kind of frazzled because my OBS was being strange. Um, this pack, uh, Ambuscade, is the best card by a landslide. Um, that said, I I've been a huge fan of Okatra's Avenger. Uh, it does support my current colors. Um, green white is pretty good though, so I mean Ambuscade is, is viable if I want to cut the uncommon. For now I'm probably gonna go Okatra's Avenger. Which is the card a lot. Um, this pick is lackluster. Uh, the rare land is terrible. Uh, Riddle Farm, I'm not sold on yet. Active Heroism is pretty good. Um, this card's meh. Uh, there's a bear in the 2-2 two -two here. Uh, Harrier Nog is okay. It's a 3-3 three -three for 3. Even uh, Kenra's Eternals is pretty good. Um, a little better than a bear, but... Anyways. Um, probably going to take uh, Active Heroism, which is good in the Exert decks. Uh, which is looking like what I'm getting now, but I'm going to do that pretty quick, because it looks like this color is not open. <sighs> Blur of Blade is like not a good removal spell. Uh, Stuff has Sentinel is okay. Uh, it's a 4 mana 2, 3 Vigilance that eternalizes for a 4, 4 Vigilance for 6. It's not a bad card. It's definitely playable. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. We might switch colors here. Looks like red is pretty closed. And sorry for the lack of video on video of me on this. Usually I have a little image of me and the Alice Collectors logo and all that stuff, but uh, unfortunately this uh, OBS studio has caused me some problems with my new laptop. So. All right, this is a really good sign. Black's open. This card's very good. Um, it's the third Kenra's Eternal we've seen in a row. Tempted to switch to white black here. We're not super committed. Although Sandblast is probably the best card in the pack. Um, we'll grab Sandblast for now because it's on color and then we're not changing colors. But uh, I'm looking at black as a viable option. Wow, it's the second one of these we've seen. That's yeah. There's a really good green black deck in this pool. That's just not going to get picked because. No one's in it. Um, Gilded Serodon's very good. Uh, card's great in the aggro deck if you have some deserts. I'm going to try to stick to white. That's probably the wrong decision. Um, we'll see how it goes. Ambuscade this late means there's just a fantastic green black deck being passed to the guy next to me, which is upsetting slightly. But it's my favorite color combination. And I was trying to do it. Definitely should have. Um, Titan's okay. It's, it's passable. We like some on color deserts, but we haven't seen any yet, so. Ah, this whole one was good. This is just absurd. Uh, yeah, anyways. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Our new goal is not to run to the guy that's gonna have three spiders and two ambuscades and just the most disgusting pool. Like, I can build a deck off of his 15 cards, just jam 25 lands, and cross his fingers to draw something, but that guy's deck's gonna be nuts. Our deck is uh, average right now. I'd like a little more reliable removal. I'd like a little more creatures that are aggressively costed. These ones aren't great. If I could get like three of Catcher's Avengers here, it's back in a row, it'd be great. Again, we're all only going to see green black cards because that's no one's in it. Uh, we'll grab probably the best one in this creature. This card's bad. I mean, we can take it and hope we open a horse. That's <laughs> uh, 
yeah, so we, I played a bunch. Uh, we, the team, played a bunch of uh, pre-release tournaments. Kind of did five this weekend while we still had kits. Um, this set's interesting. Uh, there's a lot of super powerful cards. Um, the gods are absurd. Um, if you open them, I suggest switching colors, uh, no matter what pack it is. <laughs> like pack pack two, late late pack two is if you're seeing like a pick four god that someone for some weird reason didn't want to take, you can switch colors at that point, even if you're not in either of the two colors of the god. Those cards are uh, just just absurd. Um, keep in mind, there's a lot of good fixing in uh, these sets. Actually, I'm surprised by the fixing. Uh, there's a one mana amulet that does a very good job. Um, and I'm a cat had great fixing in gifts, uh, gift of paradise and uh, evolving wild. So there's there's definitely ways to fix your mana. Um, there's a couple interestingly bad tri lands in uh, our devastation. They're uncommon, so you don't see them very often though. Um, people value them very high. And kind of weak. This card's awful. Well, like, uh, I hate our pool so far. <laughs> Optimism. Uh, Oh, okay, well, now I like our pool. Look at that. That's neat. Um, well, looks like we're in black. This is one of the god cards I was saying is just not fair. Uh, Scorpion God is a uh, 5 mana 6 5. Um, that essentially draws free cards, kills creatures for free, and never dies. It literally does everything you want in Limited. The only fear of the gods is actually them getting exiled or countered. Um, they only actually come back to your hand if they died in combat or in, in any other way. Um, but if they get countered, it actually just sits in the bin, which sucks. Um, the trick is to open two gods, and you can use the uh, the, um, the other god to reanimate it. Uh, anyways, going back to the picks, uh, Wildfire Eternal is like pretty bad. Um, I've had it be very good. You have to have a lot of good removal spells. Um, although that set is probably the best card in this pack right now. Uh, I mean, Saving Grace is a terrible uncommon. I've, I've never seen that card be actually good. This card's actually very passable. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit away from white because it doesn't support our god. Sphinx is great if we were in blue. Uh, this card is the best card in this pack. Um, but we're not in blue, and I don't feel like trying to push blue at this point. Uh, we're going to grab the Wildfire Eternal just because we're on removal spells. Um, huh. So, this card's great. Um, it's literally just a removal spell. Uh, unfortunately, it's in the color we're trying to move away from. Um, Kenner Scrapper has been nothing but good for me. I like the card a lot. Um, this is an uncolor desert, which we're going to need soon. Uh, this is a passable desert. If you need to kill another god, you can actually use it. Um, I'm gonna grab farm. Which is card. This card's great. All the good cards are in white in these packs. Uh, this is fixing, which we might actually need. Um, as awkward as it is to take that here, I'm gonna go for the white card. We're gonna use a black splash now, I think, actually. Gauntlet Saban is uh, the gold star common, I think, for this set, in my opinion. It's just been, well, no, it's not Ambuscade is, but uh, this card is uh, very, very good. Um, in any deck that has any kind of excerpt, it just basically makes your, your uh, creatures just awesome. Um, I ran it yesterday with the two drop on common that creates a 1 1, and it was filthy. Uh, every turn I was getting a free creature, uh, literally zero downside. Um, our deck's a lot better now. We need to find a way to get some black sources in here. Um, and then we'll be really good. Uh, right now the fear is ability to cast the Scorpion God is not good. Uh, I'm probably going to cut this maybe a little bit later, but I'll cut it out now just because it's too red. I'm going to try to not go super heavy into any color just so that I can actually support the Scorpion God. Keep in mind that we can actually just take black cards as well. I guess cards probably good. Blur Blades is still my least favorite uncommon. Um, or sorry, least favorite removal spell. Uh, this brick thing is just draws you a bunch of free cards. It's not bad. It's a little slow. Um, I love Torrent of Venom. 
which sucks because I think we're going to take it here. <laughs> I don't know why this is still in the pack. This card's great. Um, it's a removal spell that literally just like forces your opponent to sack something, discard a card, or take a bolt, which is like not bad. Uh, it's pretty instant upside on a removal spell. I, I like it a lot. Also, comes with this card quite well. Um, yeah. No fixing, no creatures I'm super enthused about. I mean, the camel's very good uh, when it works. Um, this card's terrible. Uh, I've never had it be good. Uh, I think camel's the pick. Gideon's Defeat is great. Uh, I value this card quite high. Um, and it might be the pick here. We have nine creatures going into the end of pack two. It's not bad. Maybe it's Gideon's Defeat. Gideon's Defeat, the defeats uh, are mostly really good. Uh, Gideon's Defeat is fantastic, it's probably the best one. Um, just like, you bring it in the sideboard against white decks, and it's just the best card in your deck. Um, Chandra's Defeat's very strong as well. Uh, Liliana's Defeat's very good. Uh, Jace's Defeat's not bad. Uh, and uh, Nissa's is just super terrible. Never ever picked that card. It's a pile of garbage. Uh, but for some weird reason, they decided to just like hose the Nissa card. The other one's really good. Red, Chandra's just kills something. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop for a second. I don't want to talk about this piece of junk trap that it is. Evident Doom is a terrible card. Uh, <laughs> I keep seeing people try to push it because it's, uh, it sounds great in principle. If you have a ton of one-drops and you can support this card and your curve is very good, then this card can be great. Um, but I don't want to rely on a card that, uh, a three-mana enchantment that actually does nothing when it comes into play. And then the downside being that if I never, draw, if I never ever draw a one-drop the whole game, then it never turns on and it literally does nothing. Um, my pick for this pack is probably the desert. We need deserts. Uh, it's black. It's on color with us. Uh, I'm inclined to just take it here. We kind of break late in the pack, uh, and we're we're kind of desertless at the moment. Um, again, the venom's really good. Um, uh, going back to what I said before, we need we're short on deserts here. I'm gonna take it. Um, Act of heroism is not a bad combat trick. So this Mardu pool is looking like it could get good. Uh, we just need to get some fixing out of the next packs. We're gonna like high pick fixing cards. Mentalist is like the worst one. Um, but I mean, we'll make it work. I mean, like Gifts of Paradise, it does cost three to give you an extra extra mana. Unfortunately, it doesn't gain you through life, and it doesn't give you double that extra mana. It's not a very good card. Um, Moaning Wall, I, I hate this card. Um, I had it used against me to actually some benefit. Um, I don't like walls, ever. Uh, I don't have uh, Mr. Nickel Wallace, so I'm not really waiting to stall out the game. I, I'm not a fan. Uh, Dutiful Servants is a much worse version of its previous card. Um, I'll take a 2-4 rather than this piece of junk, but unfortunately it's less card in this pack. Um, I think it can be good. It's a passable card. It's just not fantastic. I'm not enthused about it, if I'm being honest. We need Evolving Wilds. We're going to high pick Evolving Wilds in this pack. <laughs> There's uh, probably an argument for me, actually, yeah, the funny thing about mana left here is it actually could turn on my my market farm farm market nonsense, whatever this card is. This is the weirdest card. I, I just it's super playable just on the farm part. Oh, great. A pack that's fantastic in color we're not playing. Neato. Alright, so um Visitor Mini Phases is awesome. Uh, unfortunately I cannot push it at this point, so someone's gonna get it. Wayward Servants in my colors. Uh, it's a good two drop. We have quite a few zombies, I think. So whatever, we've got a couple. Um, it's passable. I love Horror of the Broken Lands. This is this would probably be my favorite card in this pack. Um, but we don't need that drop right now. We need two drops more than we need it. Um, we're gonna go the Wayward Servant. Possible upside later. All right. Still no evolving wilds. Um, Descent to lead is a very good card if you have a ton of mana and an amazing creature. Um, 
I'm inclined to think we need the combat trick. It's not bad. It's fine by itself on the instant speed. Um, Wasteland Scorpion's pretty good. Binding Mummy's pretty good. Uh, we have 12 creatures. Do we really need the combat trick? It's, we can't cast lead. Nah, actually, I'm being an idiot. I think I'm in green. I was playing green all weekend. Binding Mummy's probably my pick then, just because it's looking like we're going to try to fit Zombies in this black white shell. Push red later. Yeah, sure. Ugh, Gideon's Interventions. Not good. Uh, Bob Minotaur goes back to our plan of um, playing a bunch of awesome Exert dudes. Um, Take the Cropmate's pretty good. It's tempting. Maybe it's the Little Cropmate. It's the card I want. We're getting back like Binding Mummy. A couple okay cards. I don't know. Doom to Center is good here too. Um, for delaying. We have a lot of 4 drops. We can trim one though. I love Gravedigger. I love Compulsory Rest. I love this desert. I don't love not seeing an Evolving Wilds. We're gonna take a removal spell. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay. So this feels bad. I want all four of these cards very, very badly. But I have to take Evolving Wilds because I have to, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Alright, um. Impeccable timing? Really? I'd love to take gifts, but we can't support it at this point. Um, Limit Solidarity is a card that we could be possibly interested in in this deck, but not really. It's probably impeccable timing. Um, Pathmaker and Issue, it's a viable 2 1, I guess. Ugh. Oh, neat. Um, okay, so I like a bunch of these cards. Um, it's probably Wayward Servant. I like Gerard Duelist too, though. If this PAX could go Evolving Wilds, Evolving Wilds, Evolving Wilds, that'd be great. I mean, right now, I'm like, if we're doing any kind of cuts, it's probably going to be. Um, Sun Scorched Desert is a bad desert. It's probably just rain crops. Uh, Disposable Mummy is not good, but it's a zombie, and we'll just play it. Um, Morning Wall might actually stay in, which feels terrible. Um, I don't want that to be a thing. Nah. Law of Eternal has to stay in only because of the fact that like, we have two farms, and like that's like great if it works. Also, Sandblast is fun. Um, so is Impeccable Timing. Lots of these cards are like very good to come back. Active Heroism is the favorite one, actually, I think. It just kind of flicks one for four a bunch of times. The card isn't good, but... We can support three colors because we have a banner with an evolving wilds. It's not gonna feel good, but we can make it work. Ironically, you're at this point in the draft, cutting one more card um, and adding the lands is probably fine. I think I. <laughs> With this curve, I want to run 16 lands. Uh, that said, uh, we have a lot of cards that are not good um, on a 16 land curve. Mostly three colors, actually. Another piece is like maybe even gonna make the pick here, make a make the deck. Ah, it's such a bad card. I'll take it back. Like it, it's a good card if if you have the right deck for it. I'd love to take farm here, uh, spring string to mind here, but I can't. Um, so it's probably those who serve. This card's very strong. Uh, it's likely going to make the deck. It's better. It's just a better disposable mummy, and we don't really care about this card, so I'll happily cut it. Step fast Sentinel might be too expensive for what we're looking to do. 
It's not a zombie either. It does eternalize to a zombie though, I guess. Do we try to act a heroism? That's correct. That's 16 lands though. I'm probably gonna end up doing 16 lands. I'm gonna feel terrible about it. We do have mana lift, so I mean 17 lands technically, kinda, sorta. I find myself setting myself up to be landscared very often in this format. If I was actually a good magic player here, I probably wouldn't be pushing the uh, the god, but I mean, I, I feel like doing it, so I'm going to do it. Um, Gain's Intervention is a bad card. Uh, Cardi Solidarity is not great either. Sacred Cat's great if you have a horse. I don't. Um, it is a zombie and a half, a bit, sort of. It might make the, the deck actually, just for an early drop that kind of stalls for us. A new perspective is awesome, but it's not going to be in our deck. Hyenas is terrible. We'll just take new perspectives because, I don't know stuff. I'm not going to play any of those cards anyways. Hyenas is good, it's a 3 4 for 4 but unfortunately it's got 2 red in it, which I'm already a little bit scared of playing these 2 double black cards, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I kind of want to make the cat make the deck. I might cut a gilded zero to them, I don't know. They're easy to cast and they benefit from deserts. They're just a generally good card. They are a 4 4 for 4 which I mean like isn't spectacular. We'll do that. Cut our curve a little bit. Makes the, the deserts a little more cyclable. Ah, uh, supply caravan, I guess. Alright, this deck is like not that good. Um, that said, we could open a uh, red, a black mana, and our scorpion god every every game, and we'll be fine. Um, this 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 card will just win games by itself. We could also just not draw it and uh, play with this pile of garbage I have and still be okay. Um, two average difference is very strong. We have a lot of like uh, like average removal spells. Um, I've seen Wildfire Eternal be like a house. I've seen this card also do nothing, so like hit or miss. We have a lot of good removal spells. Um, I mean, past will removal spells, sorry, I can't say good. Uh, the farms are good, actually. I don't know. Deck seems okay. Once again, sorry for the mistakes in the uh, OBS streaming. I'm going to try to fix that up before we actually run this deck through. Um, but uh, hopefully we have everything fixed up. Uh, and also sorry I started in the middle of pack three. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having some problems with the new OBS studio. I'm going to switch back to the old one. Uh, anyways, um, we just listed a bunch of hours of devastation singles um, we didn't do uh, the normal mass opening pre-sale that we usually do at atlascollectibles.com and atlas collectibles on ebay um, only because the sets ev is very low and uh, honestly we're moving the store right now and just didn't have time um, that said uh, we're we can actually sell the cards early so um, they're available for purchase already on ebay uh, so if you see anything you want give us a shout uh, we had a bunch of nickel bolses and scarab gods and stuff, but that stuff's mostly sold through in the first five minutes it was up. But uh, yeah, feel free to take a look. Uh, do a quick search in our store for hours of devastation, hour of devastation, and you'll see what we've got left. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm probably going to get in the feed here because I ordered the basic land and this is just stalling here. Um, the deck is already built here. I'm just going to add basics to it. Um, I, I'm not super confident about the list, but um, I've felt that way about every single hours draft I've done so far, and it's been really bad. I was sorry, really good. I haven't actually lied. I've lost one match so far of my um, 16 matches. Um, so I'm 15 to 1. Uh, this deck is about as good as most of my decks have been. I had one gross one with like a ton of mythics, but like that's that was four of my wins, all the credits and just luck. The rest I didn't have much good cards in my many good cards in my deck. I played a Jeskai aggro last night, the last one, and uh, I only had one flash three one flying stifle bird. Um, rare. That was and the rest of it was just all like value uncommons and commons and it was seemed I still won unde undefeated with it. Uh, I feel removal's very good in the format of relies on these like really, really niche creatures. Um, this is not gonna be a thing. Um, this feels like a terrible mana base. And it makes me sad. 
<laughs> but um, we're going to try it and hope for the best, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Um, sideboard, though, we have a decent sideboard. Um, the bird's very good uh, in the board for flyers. Morning Wall's good if we run into some really aggro decks. Gideon's Defeat's like the best card ever in the sideboard. Um, Gage of the Afterlife is a terrible piece of junk. Um, anyways, yeah, we'll try this. I'll run it back and uh, record some videos. Thanks so much for watching.